Well, there we go. Chelsea Basham, new talent of the year, 2013. I make my own sunshine. And that little place that's not got so much sunshine at the moment is at Mullumbimby. Mullumbimby, just over the water, New South Wales. And guess who comes from there? Who? None other than because we were talking about her earlier. Clearly Adams joins us. How are you, Clearly? Hello, Tracy. Lovely to be speaking with you. Yeah, so we're still a little bit damp, are we? Ah, look, actually, it's been really good for the last couple of days. We um, managed to get back from Tamworth on Tuesday. We did the big bolt on Tuesday morning, and luckily, by the time we got across to the coast, uh, the floodwaters had receded on the roads, and so we were able to get home. It was a very long trip, but we got here. <laughs> oh, and you got there safe. We were watching a lot of people leaving from Tamworth saying, oh, you know, we're stuck here, we're stuck there. A lot of them got caught in uh, Warwick, spent a few days out there at the hospitality out there, and one of our guests tonight, Jade Holland, actually got caught in Chinchilla. So um, they were going to start letting people through about 2 o'clock today. So it is it is taking slow, but everyone's getting there safe, and that's all we can ask for at the moment. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I feel I, my heart goes out to all those people that have been affected yet again, you know, know. By, uh, by the floodwaters. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. Okay, well, we're okay, not going to talk about on. the floodwaters. <laughs> we're going to talk about, first of all, how was your time in Tamworth? It was mega. <laughs> it always is. Going back to my hometown, I, I lived in Tamworth for 25 years before I moved to Mullumbimby, made my sea change. And um, so I spent a lot of years there with um, all musicians and, you know, in the recording studios. I think I was on just about 90% of uh, all the recorded material out of Tamworth in that 25 years. So, you know, my godchildren are there and, it's, you know, dear, dear friends of long standing. So I had a fabulous, fabulous festival. Um, we did three huge big band shows and then another three sort of acoustic uh, three-part harmony things with my um, uh, backup vocalist, Catherine Jones, and guitarist Adrian Davis, and it was just wonderful, just wonderful. We were, um, we were previewing the, um, y- your single, your new single, Baby, We're In Love, yeah. around uh, in the station, just here, playing it around, and one of the, um, one of the ladies who, who listens to the tradition does the traditional country uh here every um every week she's singing along with this song and i'm going okay i i must confess i'd never heard the song i'd never heard the song but she's singing away and she goes i love hank williams and i went (laughs) oh so then a little bit more investigation and i find out that baby we're really in love is a a hank an old hank williams number that's absolutely right i i am I'm a bit, a bit of an old school retro kind of queen, um, you know. Uh, that 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 music was just the most inspiring stuff for me, you know. As I was uh, as I was a beca- becoming a singer, and it's true country, you know. And with each album, um, I like to either do a Patsy or a Hank song, you know. In my mind, that's that's the epitome of you know traditional music. And um, mind you, when I first arrived in Tamworth, I was an alternative. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> they were doing Grant Parsons and Emily Lou Harris songs, and they were going, "That's not country." Mm-hmm. And look at it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? How times change. But look, I love that version. My, of course, my producer Stewie French finally won a gold guitar. Uh, he and Camille with uh, with the best alt- alternative uh, uh, country album. How's that? You were the alternative I years mean, ago, and now well, they've I got the alternative. Not around anymore now. Yeah. It means that. Real country is now old country. <laughs> That's exactly right. Look at the, we just don't know where it all is at the moment, it, but I tell you, there's funny, some great stuff coming out. It, it's funny you mentioned Graham Parsons. Um, we were we were talking, uh, interviewing with a guest, uh, a young guest, a few months ago, and I uh, I said, you know, Graham Parsons once said, "There's only two types of music: good and bad." I agree. Um, and it's really funny that uh, the music that he did, discovering Amy Lou Harris and all the things that he did, uh, and now you go, well, yeah, it really was country, wasn't it? Oh, it certainly was. The roots of that music was pure country. Absolutely. And, look, the other exciting thing that happened to me, uh, which you may or may not have heard, is that the my train song, co-written with um, Mullum Bimby bloke, bush poet uh, Ray Essery, is number one on the European country music oh, chart. Isn't that crazy? Two I'm like, oh weeks in a row. How insane is that? And what I love especially about it is that it names all the indigenous uh, town names throughout the Byron Shire because we have no trains. And it was one of those things that Ray and I got, got a, a bee in our bonnet and we thought, well, we've got no trains. Let's see if we can write, get a train song and maybe support the um, you know, trains on our tracks people in uh, getting our trains reinstated. Uh, I figure we probably don't have 
<laughs> much of a chance, but hey, we got ourselves a number one train song. <laughs> and with that number one train song, it's also uh, we had a, look, a quick look at that as well, and it had that you were ranked number 11, like yourself, as one of the top 200 international country music artists. That's right, that's right. How amazing is that? Must, that must make you feel like it's all worthwhile when, when the world's listening as well. Oh, look, uh, Tracy, it's just a phenomenal thing. I, I started releasing my music into Europe pretty much the same time as I started here in Australia. Now, you have to remember, I've been around a long time, but I've been very diverse. And I really didn't focus back on my on my love for pure country music until about the year 2000, you know, and I was 50 then, so I'm a bit of a late bloomer. <laughs> but um, Europe responded immediately because they're more traditional in their in their mm-hmm. taste of, of, of country music. You find uh, on a lot of those charts, you won't find a lot of the young, new artists. You'll find... You know the 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 more traditional, your Alan Jacksons and your Johnny Cashes and your George Strait. And me, many times, me and George and Alan have been uh, buddies on the chart. <laughs> um, and with each successive album, they just it just kept getting better and better. And the Wildflowers album was really the one that did it because it won the 2010 production of the year year, at the European Country Music Awards for for me and Stewie and and for Australia. I mean, I, I'm the only one that's that was there, that was nominated, you know, uh, of, of the Australian artists. So I feel very, very proud. So what does that do for, for other artists then? Does the, has that, you say you're the first of doing that, has that opened the, the door prospectively it most, for... It, it yeah? certainly has, Darren. I have many, many artists, um, you know, ringing, getting in touch for advice about the European market. And uh, a lot of them, because they're way younger than I am, uh, have actually gone over to Europe and toured Europe. The Perch Creek Family Jug Band did a massive tour of Europe uh, based on uh, some help that I gave them. Um, and Sorry, clearly, when we say Europe, what, what will we say is the hub or the centre of of Europe, European country music? Are, are we talking France or Spain or Italy? Well, what we're we- talking probably the Netherlands is is the big one. France has uh, also has festivals, so does Denmark. Um, each a country, uh, and, and Germany as far as I'm aware too, there is a, a festival season that happens in the summertime where uh, they can and there's all sorts of fringe uh, festivals and, and bluegrass festivals, they really love their trad country music um, and so, you know, quite a few people have uh, released music on the Hillcrest label which is uh, what I release on to go into Europe and I mean, it's not just Europe, uh, it's actually um, Japan, um, Canada. Uh, I had a number one in Florida with one track from the Wildflowers album. So he does market all over Europe, and you're talking you know, Spain, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, uh, Greece. You know, right in the UK. Um, so yeah, my music is 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 out there. <laughs> Well, that, that's tremendous news that it's uh, like we, we all think, or Australian artists all think, oh, I've got to get to Nashville, I've got to get to the mm-hmm. American. But there's this, um, we talked to people like uh, Jetty Road who are opening the doors big time in, in, Canada. in Canada. Oh, they but sure are. There's some massive things happening in Europe. Well, um, you know, we've got to get our head out, out of the sand here and we've got to have a look at the how wide and diverse this, uh, this great how, music is. How incredibly global country music is. And you know what? Every country, I mean, Australia has a very distinctive original sound. You know, we have name places that that you don't hear, you know, in American songs. Uh, one of my songs, you know, The Italian Cowgirl from the River Valley Dreaming album, I had a, an English reviewer saying, well, you won't hear that in an American song. And it was saying, it was saying uh, you know, I'm not going out west if, 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 if there's only, you know... Um, what do you call them, the witchy grubs? Oh, I need my pizza and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> um, and made comment that you wouldn't hear that in, the, in an American song. And I'm thinking that's probably the appeal of the train song is that we have uh, we have indigenous names, Mullumbimby, Billy Nudgel, Stoker Siding, Mwillumbar, Coolangatta. They would never have heard those names. No, it makes them, makes them think, doesn't it? And it, like I sort of put... Um, 
like I just love Diana Trask and what she did when going to America so young and putting herself out there and like exploring it really isn't it and that's the sort of same feel that I'm getting from like having a chat to you right now clearly is you're taking your music taking Australia to to, to Europe world. yeah and sort of saying hey this is what we've got here I'm just a, a little country girl myself so this is what we've got and it's, yeah. it's a big thing that you're doing so we appreciate it as oh, well oh look I, I'm blown out by the whole response of, of the European market and seriously now pretty much everything I release goes you know either to number one or top five or so automatically my music is programmed automatically they don't have to think about it they know the quality Mm -hmm. is there and really look it has to be uh it has to be uh of a a global standard when you're competing with I'm an independent but I'm competing on those charts with major American record label artists so that makes me even prouder to know that the standard that Stewie French is producing for my music is is global. It's it's right up there. Well, that is uh, that's exciting news for for Clearly Adams. We might go out with uh, with your rendition of um, of the old Hank Williams number, Baby, We're Really in Love. This is Clearly Adams. It's been a pleasure catching up with you. The album is River Valley Dreaming. If anyone needs to get hold of it, straight to the Clearly Adams website, all the directions there. Uh, and obviously iTunes, all the typical way that we can do it in the modern era. That's right. Yeah, terrific. Uh, clearly, it's been fantastic to catch up with you. Good luck with the, uh, the water subsiding around uh, the northern rivers. And uh, good luck with your continued uh, trailblazing as it, yeah, is, as it was right, right. in Europe. And I'm sure oh, we're going to catch up with you again very shortly, I'm sure of it. That would be wonderful, Tracy. Thanks very much, guys. No worries, mate. Stay dry.